started out, um, I was a work for hire, did a lot of touring with, uh, with Latin artists, a couple of Grammy artists, uh, Jorge Moreno, Christian Castro, uh, Soraya, just to name a couple of them. Um, I did a lot of session work when I was down here uh, through the Latin artists that I worked with. And, uh, it's been, uh, just, I've been pretty much in the scene down here just doing session work and playing with different artists from one day we met. Yeah, and I was um, a professional dancer. I had danced in a few uh, different productions and in videos like the Gloria Stefan. And um, I was also an aspiring vocalist and choreographer and songwriter. Um, and I was also teaching at the time when Sonia and I uh, decided to do something together. Our first female indie CD, uh, LP37, uh, which we did for Manhattan, was actually very successful. We had um, the first track on that called The Mountain, uh, was used for promos for Desperate Housewives on ABC, and you know, and on that same CD, Glamour Hour was used for Wing Town at the time on CBS. Um, Basically, uh, well, fortunately, all the tracks were, were used at some point in place. So uh, we we were very happy because of, of you know every everything that we, we wrote got used. It was instinctual and very natural for us because um, both Tony and I grew up with incredibly eclectic taste, and it seems like a must for the indie genre um, because the indie genre encompasses so many different styles. Uh, it's actually that's part of what we love about it. Is it very free. <laughs> we have a lot of freedom to write and, and the playfulness of the music, you know, it, it allows us to be incredibly creative. The indie window, I guess, is, is, it's such a big window. I mean, there, there's so much variety that you can choose from when it comes to writing. It's not, you know, you're not subjected to a small little style. It's not just rock or it's not just coffee house. Or it's not just acoustic. It's a combination of all of it. And the writing has been really easy because of it. Songs really do flow from us in this in this genre, um, and in this last CD, the, the quirky female indie pop. I think we really laid it out there. I mean, we really put our heart and soul into it, and it it really was a true representation. This CD of our personality, um, and our approach really was simply to have fun while we were creating it. We we kind of knew that it had to show within the songs. If there's not some sense of fun, then it just it seems like it's not really even part of the right genre. The songs that pour out of you creatively with such little effort are usually my favorite ones. Like I say, it, when it comes out, it's just, I don't know, it's, it's hard to explain why it is. It's just it's one, of those, one of those things. It is. It is. Uh, but like I said, Mireya has her favorites, I have my favorites. My two in particular were uh, the tracks called If and Feel All Right. And those, uh, again, those were songs that I was doodling with a guitar in my hand and 10 minutes later one song was done and 15 minutes later the other one was done. And we, I didn't even realize at the time when I was doodling the chords that I just happened to, you know, I was, I, songs that just, they just came out pretty much. I don't know how to explain them any other way. Mine are, mine are pretty definite, actually. My two favorites are um, Dance All Night and Once More. I, I'm actually torn between both. And I think what I like the most about both of those songs is that there's sort of a nostalgic kind of retro feel to those songs. Um, I, I, I listen to them and I feel like you can almost hear them playing in a, in a boardwalk, you know, on a boardwalk in some small, like, seaside town somewhere. Um, and those seem to be my favorites. I said, that, I said that. They all they all, they're all our favorites.